alcohol and tattoos. This is for you youngsters out there. Just got done watching the video of my man Finn McKenty over the Punk Rock NBA. Big fan of Finn. I actually interviewed him for my channel uh, six months or something like that ago. Good guy up in Seattle. Actually married to a Vietnamese lady whose uh, parents, or at least her dad, escaped from the commies. And uh, it's good to see a punk rock guy recognize the evils of communism. I'm sure Finn's a, a, you know, not of my political stripe per, so much, but at least he's, he recognizes what commies are. That's good. Anyway, so Finn was talking about just right now, uh, you know, starting, just starting to invest and he's saying you're full of crap if you can't find a couple bucks to invest every month. And I could not agree more. And I frankly get sick of when I see these people, I can't invest as they're going down and getting a sleeve tattoo. They're spending all this freaking buku bucks on, you know, I don't know. I used to drink six packs of Sierras like it was going out of style. But I was also making good money. You can't be sitting there saying that you can't do something for yourself while you're freaking getting sleeve tattoos, smoking dope, and drinking alcohol all the time. I don't want to hear it. I got no, no sympathy for you whatsoever if all you're going to have in Social Security, uh, when you're retirement, is Social Security. That's the difference between socialism and capitalism, man. We, on the capitalistic side, says we are going to do whatever we can to provide for ourselves, which means we will defer gratification until a later day. Unfortunately, the society we live in doesn't recognize that much anymore. Society says bye-bye, and I hate to say society because I sit there, I hate that. Society says this, and I can't do that because society. You are an individual. You can do whatever you want. Whoa, Speedy Gonzalez. Fastest mouse in Mexico. Quiz time. I've quizzed you all before. You know who Speedy Gonzalez's cousin was? Huh? Huh? Whoever knows Speedy Gonzalez's cousin you will get a thumbs up from me. Anyway, so you're smoking dope, smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, getting tattoos. I don't get any money. Society's bad. Trek capitalism sucks. Trump's bad. We need free health care. I got all these student loans. <laughs> you put that on yourself, man. You put that crap on yourself. You get out of that hole. You don't rely on other people to pull you out of that hole. The first thing you do is you give up freaking getting these crazy expensive tattoos. You give up drinking beer. Well, you can tell me not to drink beer. Yes, because beer's not good. There's nothing but carbs, calories, expense. And it makes you act stupid. Now, you might not be, I know I did. I got a feeling many of you act stupid when you drink beer. How do I know? Because I used to drink, I probably drank more than you can even think about, unfortunately. <sighs> How I never got a DWI, I don't know, only but for the grace of God. <sighs> How many fights I got into. <sighs> bad, bad, bad stuff. Anyway, but it's not cheap. It's bad for your health. It's bad for your mind. And if you can't freaking save 25 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, and you're buying a six pack of Sierra, six pack of Sierra. You're wrong. You're wrong. But I need Bernie Sanders to save me. Bernie's gonna save me from all these people. Uh, they're not paying their fair share. Ah, sick of that crap, man. But I tell you, I got a sneaky suspicion. Sneaky suspicion. Gen Z. What is it? So I'm Gen X, the millennials and Gen Z. I got a sneaky suspicion. Gen Z is going to be socially libertarian but economically conservative that's what i think where no you dug your own grave man you lied it. you're 58 years old without a penny to saved that's not my damn fault why should i pay more taxes to dig you out of your hole i couldn't agree more now the one thing i will grant you where the right went wrong is we do now have a safety net because of people like fdr completely and i would say freaking lbj you know, would I have voted for both of those? No, I think there's better alternatives than these things. But at the end of the day, they are what they are. They're not going away and they will maintain funding for sure. And that means probably more taxes on both sides of the payroll, which I've advocated many times on Sunday. And those are there for a safety net. You're never gonna live large on social security or disability. 
and health and medicare is not free it's not cheap no matter what bernie and the far left idiots say medicare for all is silly it ain't gonna happen there's no money for medicare as it is and by the way unless you get a supplemental plan you're still on the hook for 20 percent oh but bernie says it's free <laughs> yeah yeah what else does bernie lie about the fact he's got three houses he's a multi-millionaire how does a governor of Burlington, or not governor, mayor of Burlington, Vermont, become a multi-millionaire? Oh yeah, his wife, corrupt as all can be, made Burlington College go bankrupt. Yeah, and she's still walking free, smelling the free air as a free bird. When if that were you and I, we'd be sitting there in some pen someplace, probably for 20 years. Anyway, so I don't wanna hear it. Alcohol and tats. You're taking that stuff, you're drinking that stuff, you're freaking giving you that stuff. Hell, I remember when I got tattooed for almost 30 years now. Even back then, it was hundreds of bucks. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Even back then. Then I had some guys, some drunken nights. A guy did one on my back. Uh, a guy did a, a white trash American flag behind my eagle. And just some dudes were drunk and said, yeah, let's bust out the, the ink and the needles. I'm sure they weren't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, paral paral no, not paralyzed. You know, where they're cleaned up and whatnot. <laughs> Good times. Even those cost a couple hundred bucks each. And that was, that was a crappy tattoo. That was back in the day. None of these things are fancy. They're just, I'm going to sell you, man. Not quite jailhouse tattoos, but man, I wish I didn't have those. All right. So stop the whining, give up the drugs, give up the alcohol, freaking give up the ink. Well, we got a house for sale. We got some people looking at uh, going to this house next to us that's for sale. And they got their masks on. All right, we'll see you.